Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will learn about scrolling into a web page with the help of JavaScript Executor. We will cover five of the most common scenarios like scrolling into a web page using specific number of pixels, both the vertical and horizontal, scrolling into a web page to reach certain visible web element, scrolling into a web page to reach the bottom of the page, and scrolling horizontally. No worries, together we will create the examples for all of these scenarios. But before we start, I've prepared the simple Maven project. Just as we already learned in the previous tutorials, with the following dependencies. Java Client, TestNG, Selenium Java, and the Chrome driver file stored under the resources folder. For demo purposes, I've also created a web folder into the project that contains a simple web application that will be used by the automated tests. It's very basic, contains only an HTML file, a CSS file for styling, and a simple JavaScript file to populate the page with dynamic content. Let's have a look into the web page. We can open up the application by right-clicking the index.html, open in browser, Firefox. As you can see, the application contains both vertical and horizontal scroll bars. It has a header dynamic content, a footer, and another web element in the very right side of the application called right. Simple, right? Let's get into the real things. To spare some time in the test Java, I've already created the demo class that contains the Chrome driver instance and the initial setup required before and after each test method. We already learned about all these things in one of the previous tutorials called Selenium with Java from Zero to Hero. However, I will leave its link in the description below. Furthermore, we can refactor the code a little bit by moving these methods into a separated class called base test that will be extended by the demo class. In this manner, the demo class will contain only the test methods. Let's do that. Remove the unused imports as well. And this is how it should look like. Great, nothing new so far. But going further, we will have to interact with the JavaScript executor. Go into the base test, create JavaScript executor, JSE, for example, and then we can use the driver by casting it into JavaScript executor. We wrote this line of code into the setup method because it will be automatically uh, executed before each test scenario. 
Now we can simply call JSE in each of these test methods. It will provide access to the execute script method that accepts JavaScript code as the first argument and optionally the second argument is the element required by the JavaScript code. For the scenario in which we want to scroll by a specific number of pixels, we can simply say window.scroll by and in here we have to put uh, two values like 0 and 100. It means that it will scroll vertically 100 pixels. The same goes for the horizontal scrolling by simply inversing the values. We can simply copy paste to spare some time. Great. Let's run each of them and see what happens. So, the test passed, but sadly we had no time to see what happened. We can delay the execution on purpose, but remember that in a real-life scenario it's not recommended to do that. Go into base test and simply add a thread slip in the method annotated with uh, after method. Let's add 5 seconds. We can surround it with uh, a try catch. Okay, rerun the test and it should do the trick. So it has to scroll 1000 pixels vertical. If you watch the scroll bar, you will notice that it already did it. Let's run the horizontal scroll to see if it works as well. Yep, the scroll bar is moved, which means that the test has been successfully completed. Great! The next scenario implies scrolling the page until it reaches a certain visible web element. Let's have a look into the web page. For example, let's say that we want the test to scroll until it finds this. This is the last final paragraph. In order to locate it, we will have to provide a locator for it. We can see that the element is marked with uh, the final ID. We will create a new web element instance called paragraph. Then we use the execute script method. Passing the paragraph web element as a second argument. Run the test.
and we can see that the test automatically scrolled until the web element was visible. In the next scenario, we want to scroll until we reach the bottom of the page. It's pretty much similar. We call the execute script method passing window.scroll to zero document dot body dot scroll height run analyzing the vertical scroll bar we notice that it reached the bottom of the file in the last scenario, we want to perform an horizontal scrolling in order to reach certain visible web element. Let's analyze the web page. In our case, we want to scroll to the right until we can see this right text. We will have to also locate this element we can do that by right-clicking on it and copying XPath. In the test, we will have to create a new web element called, let's say, right element driver dot find element by XPath. And again, call the execute script method. Scroll into view and pass the element. Run the script and see what happens. The right text is displayed and the horizontal scrolling bar shows that the test has been successfully performed.